So you wanna have a great physique and you wanna have great biceps or great pecs if you're a dude, or you wanna have a great ass and a really slim waistline if you're a female. But the number one thing that I'm gonna tell you is that you're gonna to wanna to work everything in balance. The reason why you're gonna want everything in balance is because you gotta think about your body like a balloon, okay? Now, if you squeeze out the sides and all you do is work your sides and all you work is your, your, your obliques, what ends up happening is the sides get a little bit tighter, but then your stomach gets a little bit flabbier and your back gets a little bit flabbier, so things start to protrude outwards. The same thing when it comes to your pecs. You see a lot of dudes walking around with giant pecs, but then their shoulders are rolled so far forward because they're trying to look so jacked over here and then they just walk around like this and it makes their back look tiny. Same thing with guys that do extra arms during the week. You know, I only do arms. So what ends up happening to their arms is their arms get big but their chest and back look tiny and more importantly, they have chicken legs. When it comes to females, the females tend to just work on the running, right? So females just say, okay, I wanna lose weight, so I'm gonna start running. So they jump on the treadmill, they run outside, they become runners, but then they forget all about their core, they forget all about their chest, they forget all about their upper back, they forget all about their arms, and so the lower body looks extra tight, but the upper body looks like when it started. And so whenever you work out, you wanna work out in balance. So here's a couple tips that I'm gonna to give to you. Number one, if you're going to work your booty, right? Every female wants to work their booty, okay? So they do the booty bands, they do the squats, they do the leg press, they do you know the, the kickbacks, all that stuff, and all they're trying to do is just grow their booty. But what ends up happening is two things. Number one, they're causing hip problems because the hips are becoming rotated outwards because the ass is so tight that it's pulling the legs outwards and then they start to get hip flexor problems. You know, you might get that hip, that clicking in the hips or they're gonna get some type of groin problem where they're gonna feel like, ah, oh, that just doesn't feel right. And so when you're working your glutes, you have to remember that you wanna work the inner thighs just as much, okay? So for every glute exercise that you do, like booty bands, you wanna do something like a groin slider to squeeze the inner thighs so that you're working the inner thighs. And ladies, we all know that you guys want that thigh gap, Okay, so we wanna be able to put our thighs together and there's a little gap between our thighs. If you want that thigh gap, then you're gonna to wanna to work those inner thighs, not just your ass. You don't want your legs spread far apart. You want your legs together, but you wanna be able to see that thigh gap. So work the inner thighs. Another part is that we spend so much time on our abs. We do a thousand crunches. We do toe touch crunches. We do water bugs. We do V sit ups. We do pump crunches. We do hanging leg raises. You know, we do a bunch of full sit ups, but then we forget about our sides and we forget about our back. Remember the analogy I said that your body is like a balloon. So if you just keep sucking in, sucking in, sucking in, eventually you're just going to be so tight in the front. And sure, you could have abs, but then you got side fat, right? Or you got back fat. So for every ab exercise you do, you wanna do some type of side crunch or side rotational component, and you also wanna do something like a Superman that strengthens the low back to create that strong core, which is like a center hub, okay? You wanna have a nice, strong center, and you wanna collapse the sides, the front, and the back. Now when it comes to females versus males, my audience is mostly females, for dudes, I would suggest that you do the same as well because naturally dudes, our upper bodies grow bigger than our lower bodies. And women, they wanna have a tighter lower body then they're not too worried about looking thick or bigger on the upper body. So I would tell you that you wanna do a two to one ratio. Now the old school bodybuilding method, especially for dudes was Monday upper body, Tuesday upper body, Wednesday maybe lower body if they're feeling up to it, Thursday upper body, Friday upper body, and then they take Saturday, Sundays off. I would actually have you split that and change it up differently. So if you are going five days a week and you're a female, then I would do a squatting component on Mondays, Tuesdays, I would do like a chest tricep shoulder combo. Wednesdays, I would do like a lunge and deadlift combo. Thursdays, I would do like a lat bicep and then the other shoulders that you missed. And then on a Friday, I would do like a calf component, a hit component and a cardio component. And this way you're getting all the five elements of your body. Now the thing about training like that is that you wanna make sure that you're keeping your programs with a ton of variety, okay? You don't wanna have the same type of program every single day. And that's why you're gonna notice that Fit Club, you might have a kick and punch cardio day and then you might have an all lift day. 
And that's because you want to be able to attack all the body parts and the types of energy systems. And when you do this, you create confusion in your body. And this also helps prevent that dreaded plateau. Because if you do the same thing every single day, unless you start adding resistance or unless you start adding more speed or distance, like in running, then guess what? Your body becomes accustomed to it. And I want you to test this out. I want you to try going for a run today, okay? Go outside, run for five minutes. Now, do this even just every second day. And you'll see that after three weeks of doing this, your heart rate and the amount of calories that you're burning is going to decrease because your body has plateaued and what used to be hard is now easy. The nice thing about having a variable program where it's structured properly by a coach, where it's incorporating strength, speed, power, conditioning, cardio, core, then guess what? There's no opportunity to plateau because you're hitting all of the different elements and you're working your body in balance. So there we have it. I know it's a lot of information all at once, but I'm super passionate about program writing and I wanna be able to help you if you're not at Fit Club and you're going out and you're doing your own workouts, maybe you're just not within the vicinity, no problem. Listen to this video again, figure out how you can create that balance. Listen to that five day split and dudes, please work your lower body.